Hi, this is Herman from Platinum Racing Products and we are here at PRI 2019. We've come to the Kinsler stand so we can talk to Greg about awesome mechanical fuel pumps that we promote and use ourselves, how you can use them, how and why we use them in our race cars and street cars, and a bit about the background uh, in American racing when it comes to Kinsler and mechanical fuel pumps. Kinsler Fuel Injection has been in business for 52 years doing motorsports and high performance engine. We started doing the mechanical pump development about 11 years ago. We saw a need and a quality issue with the current piece. So we decided to take everything that we've learned about the previous pump and when we went into development of the tub pump, we designed all of those features or problems out of it to create a more reliable and repeatable piece because when you go racing you need to know that you're going to finish the race that's one of the most important things in in motorsports you have to finish we're involved in many levels of motorsports from NASCAR IndyCar from pro drag racing and what we've done is take that technology and that reliability that's needed in a racing environment and brought it down into the more high performance street. The, the street or high performance applications have been advancing over the last few years. There's been lots of advancements there, so we took the technology that we've developed in the true motorsports and brought that down into the enthusiast sport and gave them a quality component they hadn't seen before and brought a real value added product to what they're trying to do in their, in their project and application. Once we decided to get involved in the NASCAR program, every part has to be spec and approved and, and teched by NASCAR, the sanctioning body itself. And it's a very vigorous program. In other words, every part has to be inspected and analyze for both safety and performance. Then, even once you're approved, you must be able to do the job. The teams only care about being able to accomplish the task. That's their goal, that's their job. So they go through the approved list and select the item that they know will perform and give them the reliability. When you take a typical NASCAR type program, the longest race being the, the 500 mile races. Well, the product cannot just last for 500 miles. In other words, typical design and uh, approval typically requires at least three to four times that amount. So you're talking that the, the product must survive in a 2,000 to 2,500 mile application. And everything is tested and ran for durability and performance both before and after. So then afterwards the teams keep track of their mileage at those typical requested times they come back for inspection. Unfortunately the product may not even need service because of their budgets that are involved. They service it anyways even though it technically doesn't need any updates. The NASCAR program typically requires the inspection at a thousand to two thousand miles but the product's been designed to last the entire season so inspection versus race miles we typically design the pump to survive the entire race season they could run the entire season on, on that the vigors of running the high rpm continuous duty um, is one aspect of it but one of the other concerns is when the cars come in for a pit stop and the cars have to refire they have a minimum time that the teams require that the engines repressurize and restart. So not only does the, the fuel pump have to supply the engine under maximum power, it has to be able to refire the engine in under one and a half seconds so they can get that car out of the pits and back onto that racetrack. One of the things we stressed upon in the design of this pump was not only the reliability, but the quality control. Every part is spec and measured down to the manufacturing of the gears, the housing, and even the coatings so that we get a very, very reliable part so that it can live 
in this very rough environment, especially methanol, your E85s, and of course your race fuels. The, the overall product was meant to last for years and years with proper, with proper maintenance, of course, but there's, without any actual replacement of mechanical parts. We've been using mechanical pumps in street or high performance road application, enthusiast applications for many years. There are some special requirements as far as installing. Proper installation, of course, is important. The ability to run in that environment is not a problem. If the installation is correct, the plumbing is followed per our recommendations. If we have an issue, it's typically with the supply line is getting the fuel from the rear of the car to the front. In some cases, you do require a, a transfer pump because these pumps are a positive displacement pump. That's how they can generate such a high pressure, but they're meant to live in a very rough environment. Typically, in an enthusiast program or a high-performance street application, most of the time, the vehicle really isn't operated at high RPM. So even though it's under a heavy pressure load, it was developed with that, with the pressure balance plate system that we have in our pumps, meant to keep all of its internal clearances. Running at low RPM, high pressure is not a problem. It's meant to do that, and it can literally run. We, we use these not only in this application, but offshore power boats, where they run for hours upon hours at a time. You know, where it's a typical offshore boat, once it leaves the dock, may run at maximum speeds at five to six hours at wide open throttle. So this is built to be a very rugged piece. Some people would say it's overkill for an enthusiast, but we feel that the quality is so important. You've spent a lot of your hard earned money to build this motor program. That is not the place to cheapen up where you could damage the engine, which will take your car out of commission and you don't get the enjoyment of driving your car because it's down. One of the things my boss has always stressed is that it may be the one guy's only chance. He's on the pole, he has the option of winning the race. We've been doing Indy cars since the 60s. That might be that guy's only opportunity to win that race. You want to make sure that you give him that opportunity to win that race.